Preventing horn growth in cattle is an important farm safety practice because it prevents injury to people and cattle. To meet consumer expectations, all bruises and other meat defects must be hand trimmed from the carcass. Using pole genetics is the best way to avoid having to remove horns. The pole gene is dominant to the horn gene, which means that calves may be polled even if only one of its parents is polled. Both parents do not have to be polled for a calf to be polled. Beef genetics are often polled, but crossbreeding with dairy calves may result in horns. So you need to monitor your beef dairy crossbred animals during the first six weeks of life for the growth of horn buds and disbud immediately as they are identified. Acceptable methods for disbudding calves of all breeds include application of caustic paste or the use of a hot iron device to destroy the horn producing cells of calves. Both methods require proper training and oversight so that disbudding is complete. To minimize pain, disbudding should occur prior to six weeks of age and no later than eight weeks of age and be accompanied by a pain management protocol. In young calves, the use of a hot iron requires greater labor and restraint than the use of caustic paste and is associated with the smell of burnt hair. Caustic paste should be applied within the first few weeks of life and is less effective and discouraged after the calf is two weeks old. There is potential for damage to calves eyes and skin from caustic paste if there is improper application or runoff. Incomplete disbudding due to improper application of the caustic paste will require dehorning at a later age. For steps on how to use a hot iron or caustic paste for disbudding, read the UW Extension fact sheet entitled Disbudding Calves. You can also watch the UW Extension YouTube videos on dehorning with a hot iron or caustic paste.